What's up, Wildcats? My name is Tad Salee, and this is Cow Walk, baby. Today we're talking about Plan B. Should it be sold within vending machines here on campus? Let's get started. I don't happen to know what Plan B is. Do you know if there's a difference between Plan B and, say, the morning after pill? I'm not sure. You know, you're a guy. It's okay. I didn't, I didn't know either. If they're underage, say, 16-year-olds, 15, without a parent, because, you know, vending machines, it's going to be out there. It's going to be in the open. I think every woman should uh, have the option to do what they want with their body. Like, if they don't want the baby, then they should be given that option. Talking about birth control, Plan B. Essential thoughts on Plan B, do you think that it should be sold within vending machines here on campus and say condoms as well? Well, as far as birth control goes, I think that we need to go ahead and take off our clothes, stop using this, and start using our mind. Interpretation of what Plan B is, should it be sold in vending machines here on campus? I don't think so. Why is that? People have like an easier access to it, so they'll rely on it more. A lot of people don't know this, but Plan B is actually like really bad for your body. So if you take it a lot, it could mess up, like potentially not allow you to have children in the future. That's really sad, so it just like eats your v <laughs> essentially. What is the alternative, though, David? They, ha they have sex without, without protection. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of the sex before. In other terms, do you know of the difference between Plan B and, say, uh, the, just birth control in general, say, uh, you know, the morning after pill? Yeah, I, I feel I feel like I need to learn more about this topic. It's okay, you're not having sex anyway, so we're good. If we think that we're going to get someone pregnant, if we have fear of getting someone pregnant, then there's likely a possibility that it may happen. We may be able to program that love into a, a conduit of um, what they would call uh, not coming by the power of the thought. What, what did you just say? Uh, you know, to all of those people out there who are against this, you know, just every every woman should have a right. Every woman should have a right to make me a sandwich in the kitchen. There you go, students. There's some opinions about Plan B for your brain. Now, if you'd like to hit me up on my Twitter, hit me up at twitter.com slash hosky, hashtag ADW, or on the Arizona Daily Wildcat Facebook page. And until next time, keep it classy, Wildcats. Peace.